hi hello in this video i will give an overview of um, uh, windows information protection uh, it was it was called uh, edp before now the name got changed to uh, windows information protection okay i will show uh, how to configure the policy uh, wip related policy from sscm and uh, i will also show you what would be the end user experience okay okay so what is wip uh, it's it's a very important to understand that uh, microsoft wip is uh, is an accidental data leakage protection okay okay so this is my sscm console i'm going to create a new configuration item for windows 10 um, wip 1607 so this feature is um, available uh, in the anniversary update of Windows 10, that is uh, 1607 uh, version. So <clears throat> I'm going to deploy uh, the CI for MDM MDM managed uh, devices. Okay. Remove, remove, remove only applicable for windows 10 64 bit okay this is this is the one uh, which we want to select uh, windows information protection and okay the first thing we need to select um, select the applications like uh, um, which applications you want to protect using uh, which other applications you want to protect using WIP so I I have created a list of applications which I wanted to protect mm, so first one is notepad so rule name okay so there are two options allow and accept uh, I uh, use allow okay and this is a desktop application there are other options like uh, store application and uh, app locker policy uh, policy file I use desktop application because notepad is a desktop application and uh, this is very important you need to get the publisher details publisher details um, for receiver publisher details is this and i need to provide the binary name okay and uh, this is the actual exe name okay so okay that is it okay so i created a notepad now for now for like i will go ahead and create one store application that is edge okay microsoft edge is a store application and the store application uh, when i say store application it's a modern application basically publisher details i can get the publisher details from here okay product name here here is a product name I'll tell you how to get uh, all these details actually okay so there are three options over here uh, block override silent so when you block uh, uh, the um, the um, the data data movement from managed uh, to unmanaged application will be blocked okay I will show you how uh, how does that uh, looks in a end user mission okay i will select a uh, block uh, when when i select override it is like um, it is like okay people um, the user will be warned uh, like okay you are copying uh, corporate data and uh, you are copying it to unmanaged application okay and uh, this activity will be logged or something like that okay so in this case i'm going to use block
uh, this is um, this is very much important okay corporate identity so you can provide your uh, uh, domain name or something like that in this case I'm using my domain name over here okay so oh this is also very important I'm going to set up three um, um, three network settings over here first one I'm going to set up is IP range okay uh, IP range okay next is enterprise network domain okay I didn't select the correct uh, network element uh, it should be IP range okay uh, next is enterprise uh, domain name uh, network name <laughs> network domain name okay uh, so this is uh, this is my dummy domain name you are for testing purpose I am using it okay and the third setting should be enterprise cloud resource okay these are the three settings uh, which is uh, I think which is mandatory okay once that is done okay that is done uh, no I'm not using any proxy oh, okay this is important you have to get um, a certificate okay data recovery agent certificate um, to uh, to encrypt I'm uh, sorry <laughs> that uh, to decrypt uh, the encrypted data if required okay so that is very important uh, from organization perspective you are if you are doing it in a production environment I think uh, you should uh, get a proper certificate uh, for me this is just a, a test environment so I'm using a already created uh, sample certificate okay rest all I keep it as uh, default okay uh, you can configure it as is if you want mm, okay next so this is all done so what all uh, we configured we identified the applications which you want uh, which we want to protect okay I showed you two examples one is store application and the other one is uh, desktop application and uh, there is one more option to exempt uh, some of the application if you exempt the application all the data in the in that particular application will be uh, will be treated as a corporate data so uh, um, so we we cannot use that application for uh, personal use okay so you should be careful uh, while defining this pol uh, this app rules okay and block I selected block okay and uh, this is very important you have to uh, have your domain name or uh, uh, corporate identity over there okay and uh, these three uh, corporate network definition should be there okay and uh, the the other thing is um, DRA data recovery agent certificate okay to decrypt the data if required so this is done okay okay it is creating the policy okay it is taking time okay so these are the policies created and close it down okay now I will create a, a base plane to deploy this particular policies Windows 10 1607 VIP policy okay and I add the configuration item over here which I just created okay 
Then okay now uh, now I have created the configuration baseline now I can deploy deploy this configuration okay to users okay so remediate known complaints yeah this is needed and collection see okay collections I will deploy it to MDM users okay so this has been deployed to MDM users okay so for for this demo purpose I have I had already created uh, uh, a configuration item for VIP uh, uh, WIP <laughs> sorry for that it's WIP Windows information protection and um, it is uh, it is complaint 30 uh, 33 percentage so it has been deployed to one of the missions uh, so uh, now we can directly go to uh, that particular mission and see what is uh, what is happening with uh, Windows 10 mission okay so this is your um, this is your um, end user experience before that i wanted to show that configuration item once again in this what i have done is okay so this is where you want to go uh, if you want to edit something in the policies okay so this com complaints rules and edit okay if you see I have configured Notepad, Internet Explorer, Edge, and Note uh, OneNote as um, as corporate managed application. Okay, so please note uh, no word part is not uh, not a corporate application, uh, corporate managed application. Okay, so we won't be able to copy. Um, uh, sorry paste uh, corporate data from any of these managed application to unmanaged application like word wordpad okay so going back to windows 10 mission okay so so if the data is uh, if the data is coming from my corporate location uh, that is uh, that is how to manage devices.com in this case as per my policies okay so if i want to copy any other data this is um, edge okay this is edge and if i want to copy on any other data okay i can copy it to um, wordpad that is unmanaged application okay this is unmanaged app okay this is unmanaged application so i can copy it okay so i can copy it to uh, notepad as well okay this is again managed application managed app if you remember uh, i have configured edge also as a managed application so so this is my mail okay and uh, you can see this data is coming from uh, corporate um, network okay corporate network identity there which i configured in the policy so edge is automatically identified that this is um, this is a corporate data okay and uh, put a log um, uh, I, I won't say log symbol put a um, ADP or WIP symbol over here okay it's a briefcase symbol okay so this means this data is protected so so if I if I try to copy this mail content okay so better i try to copy this and copy the content okay and 
this is again notepad and manage replication okay if i try to copy the content from from edge that is also managed application and uh, to notepad that is also managed application so it should copy okay ah uh, yeah it got copied good so can you see a symbol over here the briefcase symbol so so if i okay okay what i did is i moved <laughs> This, that is why it's showing us okay so if i save for this i will get an option i cannot uh, save this as a personal one it is uh, by default saved as a saved as a corporate uh, data corp data okay so as you can see it's already defined uh, the work location over here it's how to manage devices.com okay that are safe okay so i th what i'm doing here is i'm copying the same data okay I'm copying the same data uh, to a unmanaged application from managed application that is edge to unmanaged application so what is happening see this is this is work content only your organization uh, how to manage devices.com doesn't allow you to change the ownership of this content work to personal so uh, basically this is a personal application and uh, we define this as a personal application and we cannot um, the WIP won't allow you to copy the content from your corporate mail um, to unmanaged or personal application okay so does that interesting okay and i think that is it um, for from uh, me on this video thank you for watching